Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is another video where I get a couple of questions uh, usually well one that came a few times in the past few days including today after I posted the uh, video of the minimum requirements that won't change in the next version of Windows 11 22H2 how about those that are unsupported hardware will you get 22H2 will you be able to continue using Windows 11 um, and will there still be a way to install Windows 11 22H2 uh, with unsupported hardware? Once again, no indication of any changes. Um, I do think that 22H2 will be updated and sent even to unsupported hardware. Are you guys going to go to 22H2? I don't think Microsoft will not send that to everybody. Um, you know, there's no reason for that to happen. Um, the only thing that I could see for unsupported hardware is that sometimes there'll be a feature you won't be able to use because you just don't have the minimum requirements, but that's all. So I do think 22H2 is going to be available for the unsupported people out there that are using Windows 11. Also, um, I do think it's still going to be the same thing because a lot of people think you have to hack Windows in some way for you know to get it on the unsupported hardware or that you have to change stuff. Microsoft all really does the job for you. If you install from the image that you can download on Microsoft's website, a clean install, you can, on unsupported hardware, install it. It's going to warn you you're not supported, but it won't stop the install. It is, it is going to continue. Where the Windows install doesn't work for unsupported hardware is when you go through Windows Update in Windows 10 and you see Windows 11 is a possibility that you could go to. It's not going to work from there, nor is it going to work if you actually try to upgrade within Windows, 11, Windows 10. That doesn't work. But if you use the image that they have on download side for Windows 11, they actually let you go through the install process, even if the minimum requirement isn't there. So um, they already um, make it easier. Now, yes, you can change and alter the files for install that will make it even more open and install on pretty much anything. Uh, but for a lot of people, the image that you download from Windows website is OK and will install on the machine. Uh, as for the support, well, you know, like you said, you'll still be unsupported on 22H2, but I don't think it will prevent you from going there. And I think that uh, for the next year, unsupported hardware will be, you know, available to Windows 11 uh, through different ways of installs. But um, there's no indication of any changes um, that Microsoft, no, I think Microsoft opened that unsupported hardware possibility simply because of the the uproar and the you know people being mad that minimum requirements are so high but um, at the same time it kind of you know lets them be okay with the fact that you know let's not touch the minimum requirements there they are this is the minimum requirements uh, we're not going to change it so yep I'm pretty sure that Windows 11 22 h2 will be available through unsupported hardware also and you'll be updating to the next version uh, probably if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching